Damn. Can you hear that? It's currently raining. Just, just sit down and look at the view and just kind of listen to that for a second. I hope you're right. I hope things have been good and I hope you've been productive. But maybe things haven't been good at all. You've been really unproductive and you feel really unmotivated to do anything. Even the little small tasks in life like cleaning your room, brushing your teeth, taking those clothes off that chair. You feel really unmotivated, unproductive and I'm going to teach you in this video how to literally fall in love with being motivated and feeling motivated again. And it's by one simple thing, no fat. But stick to the end because I'm going to go in way more depth on one to how actually do it well and how it makes you motivated. My name is Wada and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. So when you're on no fat, when you get the desire, the urge, the sex drive, you don't give in and watch it and fulfill that sex drive within minutes. You can bring out your phone and fulfill it straight away. When you're on no fat, you don't have this way to fulfill this sex drive. So what you end up doing is fueling that sex drive into the four pillars of self-improvement. Meditation, reading, exercise, and gratitude. You end up fueling that desire into those aspects, into other aspects of your life, so you can become attractive, so you can actually get that girl, so you can fulfill that sex drive. If you think about it to uh, like literally thousands of years ago when we were just cavemen, which I think about a lot, cavemen, they didn't have porn, they didn't have the hub, they didn't have a way to fulfill that sex drive straight away. They just had to be the most masculine in the group, in the tribe, to actually get the girl to fulfill that sex drive. And they would work, they would use that sex drive and fuel it into literally becoming that top 1% man. And when you actually start making progress in this, using that sex drive to fuel it into the four pillars of self-improvement, to actually make yourself more attractive to get the girl to fulfill that sex drive. When you start fueling it into those aspects and you make progress, that's where your motivation comes in. That momentum that you build up from making that progress, you start getting motivated off that. And that's how NoFap can lead to you becoming way more motivated. You haven't got a skewed mindset. You haven't got a skewed set of dopamine since you're not fulfilling that sex drive straight away. You're actually building and working on yourself to make progress the dopamine you get from that the motivation that you get from that and the momentum is incredible that's how nofap can actually fix your motivation but how how can you actually stay consistent on it because maybe you were like me when i first started on the self-improvement i just started going to the gym i just started nofap and you try it for three four or five days you say i'm gonna do it for seven weeks i'm gonna do it for seven days and See how, see what, see what changes happen, but then you failed on the second day. Oh, I failed already, so may as well give up. How can you actually stop doing that and actually stay consistent on NoFap? And it's something that actually Hamza said that I really related to. Uh, not, not Hamza, um, his, Hamza's friend, Sam. Don't count the days. Make the days count. If you count the days, you're thinking about it so much and the more you think about it the more likely you're gonna give in to it if you think about it like a smoker someone who's trying to quit if he never thinks about smoking compared to when he, if he's always thinking about smoking whether it's trying to quit or whether he should he'll end up being more likely to relapse when he's thinking about it all the time so if you don't count the days and you actually make the days count you fulfill your days with just being busy with the four pillars of motive uh, with um self-improvement reading exercise, me uh, m meditation, and gratitude. You fill your days with being busy with just that. You'll end up not thinking about, you know, doing the deed. You won't think about no fat, and you'll end up just not doing it. One of the most important things you should do is update your self-image. If you've got the guy who says, I'm trying to quit smoking, compared to the guy who says, I don't smoke, who do you think is more likely to relapse? Now, your answer, the guy who says, I'm trying to quit. That's the same thing with NoFab. That's the same thing with you. Stop saying, I'm trying to quit. Like, you know, going on the hub. I'm trying NoFab. Just stop thinking about NoFab and just update your self-image. No, I don't. Because that's just not my lifestyle. That's not a part of my day. I don't even think about it. 
That's the golden point that we want to be able to reach. That's the golden point we want to be able to reach on NoFap. But the thing is, this addiction that you have, it's been built on over years, years, and years. It's like a, it's like a five-year addiction. Don't beat yourself up. You aren't going to be able to fix it overnight. It's almost impossible to do that. Just do the best you can now. And when you fail, and you will, all right, it's going to happen. You're going to get the urge, whether it's two years, two months, or two days, it's going to happen. When you do, just think about trying to speak to widen that gap before you fail again. Don't beat yourself up because this is a long, long addiction that's going to take a long time to break. But staying consistent is the best way to actually break it. If you like this video and this video actually helped you out, click on the one in the corner because this could most definitely change your life as well. Stay consistent and do the best you can. It's currently pouring it now, but you know what time it is? Self-improvement kiss. Mm -hmm.